It's better to be safe than sorry, according to the Alachua County School Board administrators. New safety measures are in place for the new school year that will change the way visitors check in at school campuses. TV20's Chris Gilmore reports that the, with these changes, it will now be tougher for unauthorized visitors to make it past the front office. School resource officers and deputies are going to become more familiar faces on school campuses, Paige. Parents say they welcome any change that helps prevent an emergency situation. Not a crazy idea. I think that it's better to be safe than sorry. Security is being beefed up in Alachua County Schools at a cost of more than a million dollars. One of the most notable changes is the Raptor Visitor Check-In Program. You'll notice several changes as soon as you walk in. At all schools throughout the county, before a visitor makes it past the front office, they have to present a valid form of photo ID. The system aims to prevent sexual predators from entering school campuses, and it's been successful in test runs. We've been piling it in for a few, piloting this for a few years, so we have um, stopped some folks who, for whom we got a hit on the sexual predator list. Of course, it's a good idea to present uh, IDs for people who don't know. Cause you don't know who come in to see these kids. I mean, it could be anybody. It could be me. It could be him. The Elijah County Sheriff's Office will be supplying 12 additional deputies in the coming year to help patrol elementary schools. That's in addition to the four Gainesville police officers being reassigned to elementary schools. The 16 officers and deputies will cost $1.2 million. In the wake of Sandy Hook, Elijah County Sheriff Sadie Darnell says the program has already saved lives within the past two years. It was a, a shooting and it was an attempted murder uh, that happened at the High Springs Community School uh, brought to uh, you know our reality that it could happen because it did happen on that day here in Alachua County. The incident involved a custody dispute in May 2011. Robert Nodine was prevented from picking up his grandchildren. His response was to open fire at a school resource deputy. If we had not had a deputy on site, able, trained, ready to respond, and did, did what he needed to do, lives would have been lost, and most likely children uh, are, are school officials. Simple precautions preventing potential tragedies. Seems okay to me. I'd rather my children at school be safe. In addition to cameras, check-in, and school resource personnel, evacuation and lockdown drills will be regularly conducted throughout county schools. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.